What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on Create a Pro website. My name is Levi Hagen and in this video, I'm gonna be speaking on the top five free WordPress themes. So really fast, what is a theme and why do we need one? Well, most of the time you're gonna be using a page builder like Elementor or Beaver Builder or Gutenberg or any of those other ones, and you're gonna be editing the meat of the website. But the top and the bottom, the header and the footer, you're gonna be using the theme for. You can create any site you want with page builders. So if there's one thing to take away from this video, it's to choose your theme based on your needs and its backend capabilities. Now, if you're not using a page builder, you will actually be using these themes to customize the page itself as well. And they do come with certain customization capabilities in that. To be a little bit more specific, a theme basically just gives you more customization power over your fonts, colors, stylings, layouts, and things like that. That being said, let's get started. The first thing that I wanna get into with all of you is in the middle on customization and ease of use. Flux is unique in that it provides motion effects for the loading screen and template motion effects for the entire page. I thought that this was a very interesting feature. While in the customization tab, you can choose from different page motion effects that automatically take care of the animating your site for you. The preloading animations are pretty cool too. You have options like a loading bar that you can customize, so that's pretty cool. Another thing that it offers is a unique back to top button that's sticky to the bottom of the page, which has interesting motion effects as well. It was the cleanest, most professionally animated back to top button that I've seen without having to do any editing or customizing too. Maybe y'all don't geek out over things like that, but I wanted to go over it. In addition, you can also go to the appearance tab and show the website frame and other aesthetic options as well. Overall, I was impressed with the amount of animation and flowiness that this site achieved from a stock point of view. Most of the time, in order to get your website to look this animated and professional in terms of motion effects, you have to change a lot of settings on individual buttons, and that takes some time. So the fact that this one was a cookie cutter motion theme was pretty cool. Now, these are some interesting concepts for this theme. However, it doesn't offer a transparent header, much less a header builder or footer builder in the free version, so I personally wouldn't use it. The next theme that I want to talk to you guys about is called Deep. Right off the bat, this theme has one of the most powerful and detailed header and footer builders that I have seen. You could use this theme if you're comfortable not using a web page template because Deep doesn't actually provide templates. Rather, it gives you a demo importer, which essentially just a theme importer. All that it downloads is stuff like fonts and colors. It'll give you pages, but they're just completely blank. It does, however, come with a lot of unique features like smooth scrolling, back to top buttons, and much more. You can even choose from style layout options for blogs, which is cool too. But the best thing that I thought about this theme and that was incredible is that in Elementor, you get 50 new widgets that you can use, which is a huge plus for someone who uses Elementor all the time. Most of the additional widgets that come from Deep usually have tons of types or styles within the widget, so I thought that was pretty sweet. Another thing that I noticed is when you download the theme for Deep, you will have an incredibly limited capability when it comes to editing your header and footer. In order to get the header and footer builder, you'll have to download the actual Deep core theme. You can do this by just going over to the Add Plugins tab on your WordPress dashboard and then searching Deep Core. Now this is actually the case with a few of the other themes on this list, so I thought I would just mention it to you guys now. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is one of the longest and most used themes in the WordPress repository. Ocean WP is a powerful theme that has tons and tons of customization options and capabilities. On the other hand, I felt like it was a bit too cluttered and a little overwhelming in that the customization tab seems unorganized and has too many options. For an experienced web designer such as myself, finding out where everything is was not hard, but for beginners, this could prove difficult. To make something unique, you would have to use something like the Elementor header and footer blocks plugin, which is just a plugin that you can download. Now, OceanWP does have a basic header settings tab and does offer a transparent header, which a lot of themes don't for the free version, so I thought that was kind of nice. It does, however, have a top bar, so you can enable it and then enter in some social icons in it or something like that. I would venture to say that OceanWP does have some additional features compared to the other themes on this list, but they're not that special. It has a back to top button, which is nice, uh, pretty plain though. It offers a 404 page customization tab, a top bar, a header without a header builder, so that's a little complicated to use, and then also just a blog post customization. I would definitely recommend downloading it and trying it out and giving it at least a good experience, but I personally don't use it. After downloading a theme, you can always go back and deactivate it at any time, so it doesn't hurt to try it out. Mm -hmm. 
The next theme on my list is my number one go-to for the channel, but not necessarily my personal favorite. Astra has a huge repository of templates out of all of the other themes, and they have some of the best looking templates as well. Now, the design quality can be a bit subjective, of course, but I personally like the templates on Astra a lot more than the other themes. The reason I like Astra better than OceanWP is mostly for the starter templates. Astra offers 70 templates, with 35 of them being available for free use. OceanWP offers 73 in their library, but it only offers 13 of them for the free version, so it's 35 versus 13. So you have a lot more to work with when it comes with Astra. In addition, in terms of free use only, I think that Astra is the much more appropriate choice. With its starter templates, along with the plugins and extensions that are available for free with Astra, I think it's the best theme for the beginner website designer. The downside would have to be that it's rather limited in its design capabilities and has much fewer options in customization than the other themes on this list like OceanWP. But that's it. I personally don't think that there are any other downsides to Astra, and that's why I use it so much. I always use Astra because for beginners, designing a slick website is hard. So the templates are a huge benefit for me teaching people who have no experience. On the other hand, if you're already very familiar with Elementor and you believe that you can create some stunning designs like me, then you can choose a different theme with other cooler options than this. Now this is why I've saved the best for last. When I'm not on YouTube showing people how to build websites and keeping it simple and easy, I personally like to use the Bloxy theme because it checks every box that I have when it comes to picking a theme, and it also has some pretty awesome features on top of that. Bloxly definitely supports Elementor, which is my preferred page builder. It's also highly rated and respected, and it is also perfect for what I plan to use it for. Remember when I said at the beginning to pay attention to the back end of the theme? Well, I think that Bloxy has the most organized back end of all of the themes, and it also has a super easy switch from the light and dark theme. I believe that this is my favorite theme when it comes to creating websites because of its capabilities. It has the best of everything that I like to offer when it comes to themes. It has a back to top button, transparent header, header and footer builder, and it's just as detailed as deep, by the way, website frame that's customizable, blog customization, and starter templates. Now you have to download the Bloxy Companion plugin, which is the supporting plugin similar to OceanWP and Deep, where you have to have that supporting plugin in order for it to work properly. But I think it's the best theme out there still. The header builder is incredibly complex and powerful, but not complex in a bad way. It gives you full control of the header and the other headers as well. What I mean by this is you're able to copy headers from page to page and then edit them individually for different pages, which is pretty cool. Another really cool feature is the off canvas menu, where you can actually have a hamburger icon in the top corner and then customize a menu to appear when triggered. Once it's triggered, you can then fully customize the background, the widgets, the logo, and everything else from colors to fonts. I think this off canvas menu is pretty awesome. So at the end of the day, I think that the Bloxy theme is the best out of all of the other themes, and that's why I use it the most. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. That was my list of the top five WordPress themes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got what you came for. If you're interested in learning how to build your own website and you like the way I sound, then definitely check out the rest of the channel because we're constantly putting out in-depth free tutorials on building websites step-by-step. -step. And if you're looking to get started today for your website, then go ahead and click on the first link in the description to get a huge discount on your web hosting. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment with your question down in the section below, and I'll see what I can do to help. I personally respond to as many as I can. I'm Levi Hagen with Creative Pro Website, wishing you the best, and I'll see you in the next video.